Our house have three return vent like this on the first floor, nothing on the second floor. My plan is to eliminate those and add vent like this on the wall instead throughout the whole house. This is what they use for the vent. It's an old house. I believe this is how they used to do it back in the day. But the problem with this is it collect a lot of dust and you can see a lot of spider web and a lot of nasty stuff can be in your dog vent. And we're gonna be breathing those in because it is circulating throughout the house. This is a portion I haven't taken out yet, but it's gonna look the same after I take it out. First, I put a material down to collect all the debris. Then I use a multi-tool to cut out the hole and they're all slightly bigger than what the vent gonna be to have a shroom to fit it in. I had to custom made some part of it because I couldn't find an exact match at the store. Then I make sure I seal everything. Then I added the insulated duct tube to it. Then I zip tied the insulated part onto it. Then I connect the other end to the vent return. And now I'm gonna work on this to cover the whole thing. Again, as you can see, all those nasty stuff that was in this dog vent. Now the plan is to cover this hole because it will be no longer in use. First, I mark where the joists are to have material to screw the new subfloor onto. I'm calling this a subfloor now because the plan in the future is to add laminate floor on top. Next, I add liquid nail on top of the joist so there will be no squeaking in the future. And I cut everything to length and screw everything down. And for now, we're just using a carpet to hide it. But in the near future, this whole house will be have laminate flooring. And this is what the dog vent look for now. I did screw the middle part on the inside. And now I just have to do some touch up work to make it look complete. But I have to do eight or nine more of those throughout the house and cover two more of those all of it and I'll be done. Thank you for coming to my channel. Have a good one.